All right, I am JDZ Gaming Empire, and welcome to Dragon Age 2. I remember when this game came out in 2000, March of 2011, I was uh, just about to retire from the Air Force. Um, my ceremony was in April, so a month after this game released, I retired. Man, it's hard to believe it's been that many years ago already. Anyways, I have played through this game one time before. And other than a repeat of the assets, <laughs> the game maps, I, I enjoyed the game. I liked the combat. It was To me, it was fluid. So other than the reusing of the maps, I enjoyed the game. And I hope I'm going to enjoy it this time as well. The first time I played as a mage, this time I'm going to stick with um, a rogue again. So I did um, play a little bit just to make sure the audio and game sounds and everything looked good. And then I deleted that save. So we're going to start new. It was maybe five minutes that I played. That was it. I am going to attempt this on hard. We will see how that goes. All right, female rogue. Rogues can wield a dagger in each hand or rain arrows from a distance. They are particularly adept at tearing down individual opponents and are the only class that can pick locks or disarm traps. Yes. Had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <clears throat> What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Okay, Cassandra. Varric. them sooner or later then we make our stand here prepare yourself oh my okay dark spawn be careful okay combat right click on an enemy to attack Stab. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's try this. Now you fall. Oh, that was cool. Keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of Darkspawn. 
Here they come. More dark Shall spots. I deal with them? Uh, no, I'll deal with them. Allow me. Jeez. Woo. Try some of these talents here. Oh, that was cool. Oh, hang on here. Hang on a minute. What does this do? Explosive strike. The rogue completes the combo built up by unforgiving chain. Every melee, every basic melee attack that the rogue completed immediately prior to using the explosive strike increases the damage inflicted by the breaking chain. Evade. Okay, that was the miss Mia Miss Mia's Miasmic Flask. Okay, backstab. And then rush. The rogue rushes forward, attempting to knock down the target and all nearby enemies. Ooh. Well, let's head over here and do that. Sister, um, trying to find my my mouse cursor. Hello, Mr. Ogre. comes I almost died. There's no end to them. Ooh, dragon. Shit. That's <laughs> not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. 
Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. Okay, so here we get to customize our hawk, and I will do that and then uh, come back. So, see you in a minute. I suppose we can stick with our normal Sasha. Okay. All right, I believe I am done creating her. She, she didn't take that long, only about 10 minutes. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of choices available. So I, I, I think I'll like her. I've never gone with all white hair before. And I gave her a tattoo on the side of her face. Since she's a rogue, I figured she'd be kind of a scoundrel. And she would be the kind of person that would have a tattoo. So, of course, her name's going to be Sasha. And let's see about the events of Dragon Age. That's default. Import from Origins, my save. Okay. And, uh, yep. Last time I played was the 31st when we did the Witch Hunt. So, let's select that one, I guess. Okay. All right. Dragon Bone Waste at 117. 106. Oh no, it's definitely not that. 1241. 153. Is that it? Yep. On the 31st? Yes. Uh, plot summary. Yeah, 153. Okay, plot summary. Connor was freed from the demon. Mages were recruited into the army. Dalish elves were recruited into the army. Balin rules or Orzammar. The Anvil of the Void was destroyed. Loghain was killed. Alistair is king of Ferelden. Alistair performed the dark ritual with Morrigan. The warden killed the archdemon. Amaranthine was saved from the darkspawn assault. The architect is dead. Warden's keep was reclaimed. Shell was discovered. King Kalen's corpse was burned. The warden let Morrigan travel through the Illuvian. So this tells me I really didn't even have to play that Golems of Amgarok because it has no bearing whatsoever on this story from it from looking at the uh, synopsis here. But I'm glad I did since I never played it before. But that will be the first and last time I play that game. All right, let's confirm. Level 35 Rogue Import World State. Okay, congratulations. The save game imported successfully. Start the game. Yep, it's already on hard. <laughs> I almost already died in the pre pre prologue. The Blight have been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time.
I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Okay, I'm not gonna read since these are all voice acted. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. Okie dokie. Ooh, what's this? Blood dragon armor. What? Journal. Your journal displays a list of your current quests. Plot assist will appear for the quests marked as active. Again, Bioware with their short reading or short um, pop-ups for you to read, like, very quickly. Okay. This is premium content. Blood dragon armor. Evra's might. Evra's trophy belt. Okay. Find a way past the dark spawn horde. Mark that as active. Uh, completed. Codex. Oh, wow. Oh, man. They always throw a lot of codex at you. Um, Sasha Hawk. Well, let's at least read about our own character here. The daughter of Malcolm Hawk and Leandra Emil. Sasha has lived in many places throughout Ferelden. Her father and younger sister, Bethany, were apostate mages. Thus, the family was constantly on the move, avoiding Templar hunters. Ten years ago, the family settled in the village of Lothring, building a home on the outskirts and making a life where they wouldn't forever be on the run. Though Leandra worried constantly that the Templars would one day catch up with them, Malcolm kept his abilities a secret and taught his daughter to do the same. He died three years ago, leaving Sasha responsible for the welfare of her mother and younger siblings. When the Blight began, Sasha and Carver quickly enlisted in King Callan's regiment. The horde spilling from the Kakari wilds meant their home would be quickly overrun if the Darkspawn were not defeated immediately. However, the Battle of Ostagar ended with the betrayal and death of King Callan. Sasha and Carver barely escaped the chaos with their lives and returned to Lothring to get their mother and Bethany out with only moments to spare. So we got mom, sister, and brother here. Okay. Combat, right click, okay. Cross class combos. Each class has a special status effect that can set up a cross class combo in which character of one class uses a talent or spell to hinder an enemy with the effect before a character of another class exploits it using another talent or spell. This produces a tremendously powerful attack. Each of the status effects that enable a cross-class combo also applies a penalty to the victim. If the cross-class combo is completed successfully, the effect and its penalty dissipate, but the greater damage inflicted by a cross-class combo more than makes up for this loss. Brittle. Mages can make enemies brittle using any of the several upgraded spells from the primal and elemental schools. Warriors can exploit Brittle using upgraded talents from the Two-Handed School, or Rogues can do so using upgraded talents from the Archery School. Critical damage plus 50%. Okay. Alrighty. Let's um, go back to the game. Uh, how do we look at our inventory? I? Yes, inventory. Equip new weapons, armor, and accessories for each of your party members. Oh, okay. Did not get to read all of that. Uh, so we have a bow here, a short bow, which we're not. We're using um, daggers, and we have some pretty basic armor here. She's our mage. And Carver is our warrior, two-handed warrior. Okay. All 
All right. So let's not all just stand around here. Okay, I see we have a nice looking map here. Let's go. Can we quick save? Yes, we can. And I see our skills down here. Pause, move freely. Okay, disabled one, not in combat. I wonder if I can move that if I wanted to. Uh, what is what is this? Um, I guess that's my health, maybe? Don't know. To arms! To arms. Oh, there's people behind us. Bethany's uh, about down here. Anybody else? No? That's it. Level up. One of your characters gained a level. Press escape and select level up to choose new abilities. Okay, mom is the only one not fighting. She does not have any weapons from the looks of it. And of course, she doesn't have the proper armor either. Stamina drought. Okay, stamina is back. Uh, let's see, I will upgrade or level up in just a minute. Okay, R to take everything. Okay, Hunter Skinning Knife. All right, does the same damage that I currently am doing. Okay, level up. So you actually have to escape out to level up. Okay. Level up. When a character levels up, you receive points to spend on both attributes and abilities. Um, good thing I read that fast. Attributes. We have three points. And we probably ought to put most of them in dexterity. Um, and... Constitution, since I am playing on hard. Right, let's go back. Okay, so level up, left click on a tree to zoom. Dual weapon. Abilities highlighted in the blue can be learned. Diamond icons represent active abilities that, ha that have an instant effect. Hexagons are sustained nodes that... Okay. Backstab. Okay, that was one of the um, abilities that we had that we got to showcase off her skill set. So we have backstab, perforate. Okay. Well, we're definitely probably going to get backstab. See what else we have here. I'm not doing archery. Uh, scoundrel. What is this? Line side. Hmm, okay. This must be stealth. Yep. Okay. And specialist. What is this? Hmm, this is definitely new. Specialists rely on precision, power, and speed to overwhelm their opponents. Hmm. Okay, that might be interesting to, to have. Sabotage. Stupefying and undermining their foes. Rush. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get this backstab. Oh, did it? Why did it not save this? I did something wrong, obviously. Oh, maybe I didn't confirm it. That's what I didn't do. Tactics. Behaviors determine how a character acts in relation to enemies. Presets will fill your tactics table with predefined strategies. Okay. Yep, that would be good. What about you? Fireball. And what is this? 
almost strike. All right. Resistances. Okay, nobody's resistant to anything. All right, let's continue. All right, can we zoom in and out? We can. What about tactical? Because I know, I guess that's tactical. Um, in Dragon Age Origins, you could, and Inquisition, you had Wait. tactical view. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. <laughs> so, her character, she's going to be funny. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guarin and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Well, at least it's not... Uh-oh. Well, I didn't cut them off. The pause, the auto-pause cut them off. Whoa! Oh, I didn't get to do much. Just throw my little flask. You will not have him. Okay, Mama. They will not have you. Not while I breathe. Uh, uh can we? There we go. I was like, please, can we attack? Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Apostate? Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Yeah, dude. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Aveline? Why are you... Oh, I'm... that's right, I'm not gonna read. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. Oh, so it's going to be difficult to tell what I've already selected. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostigar, this is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varel. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. 
So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. Hmm. Ooh, so... Do I always want to be comical? Because that's what that looks like. Or I need to be forceful. I'll keep him away from my sister. So long as you know I stand with Bethany, Templar. Understood. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Okay, we have another warrior added to our party. Aveline. Carvel rivalry plus five. Bethany friendship plus 15. <laughs> ah, okay, we do have Aveline. All right, so we need to level up and to level up, we have to escape. Okay. She obviously needs some willpower and magic. Confirm. Okay, she's already doing the fireball. And I don't remember what happens. Something happens to one of my siblings. I just don't remember what. Oh, I can't get can't even get any of this yet. No sense of even looking at it. Uh, I see some spirit bolt in there. But let's go over here. Oh, that's cool. They put all the elemental things together. Okay. Well, I guess they did it in the original too. All right, let's get that. And then Carver, let's bump your strength up and your willpower. Rival? How's my brother of my rival? <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Ender. Stonewall. The warrior braces for impact, shrugging off damage for a brief moment and pushing back against any foe who attacks. Hmm. That might be worth it. Vanguard. Um, can't get any of this yet. Mighty Blow. The warrior leaps into the air, crashing down on foes with tremendous force. Physical damage 28, physical force 2 times. Let's go ahead and take that. Alright, I think we're done. Let's look at your stuff here. 14. Okay, we're going to have to work on your willpower as well. And... I wonder if brother's going to die. She's a weapon and shield. Because we have two... Two warriors in the group. Okay. One tactic slot available probably for... Okay, for Aveline. Okay. So how do we wonder how we put like injury kits? I don't remember how we get our items on the taskbar task or, or if that's even possible now. It's been so long since I played this game. So we have one health and whatever this is, what is that? Stamina maybe? Inventory. Um... What is that? Stamina drought. Okay. And one health potion. All right, save. Oh, 
Some more baddies up here. Um, nobody. Oh, there are some behind us, but let's take care of these ones over here. I deny you. How about you? There. Get on up here. Move, sister. Okay, I'll just move you. Ooh, a Herlock Brunt. Okay. Not bad. I'm using the tab to show all the loot. Oh, look, it puts a little pile of gold. Potions, you have received a potion. To use a potion to replenish a party member's health, stamina. <sighs> I'm going to have to go back and read that. Hopefully I won't need to do any of that anytime soon. So what? I would click on this person and I can't even click on that. I don't know. Guess I'll find out. Oh, somebody's throwing something. You are not enough. Get back. Make her take you. You guys. See you back here. Oh, okay. Our mage is dead. Didn't pay attention. Of course she is. All right, sis. Come on. Get on up. Okay, she's up. A ring. Plus three mana or stamina. Take that. I'm not putting anything on any of these folks until I know who's going to be with us. So I will be putting the ring on. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Okay. M will bring up the map. Um, can't... Oh, okay, there. It will let me move it around. And we're trying to get here. Okay. More dark spawn. Oh, hold up. You. Can we have everybody attack him? Can you attack him too, please? And you attack him. Okay, and she's already on him. Good. She's about to die. Okay, here we go. That's how we quick heal. All right. Okay. Now you go. Chill. Oh, 
Okay. Come on down. Join the party. Oh, Jesus. Guess I need to have her tactics set up, set up where she will heal herself. Quickly, before they regroup, we must press towards the wilds. Your sister just hit the ground. Wesley. Wesley is so injured he cannot help us. Okay, let's level up. Oh, escape. Let's get what's this? Okay, might get that. Ooh, this rush was pretty nice though. Let's get that. All right, Aveline. Yeah, shield bash is always good. And I changed the you HUD. Changed the HUD so that way everything would be highlighted. Automatically, without me having to hit the tab. The Kakari Wilds. It is said that in the midst of the Black Age, when werewolves stalked the lands of Ferelden in numbers that kept every farmholder indoors and a hound on every doorstep, a powerful Arl of the Alamari peoples stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His Arling stood on the border of the Dark Forest on the southern border of the Ferelden Valley, and he claimed that the werewolves used the forest to launch their midnight assaults on humanity. For 20 years, this Arl led an army of warriors and hounds deep into the forest. In his hunt for the werewolves, he slew not only every wolf he came upon, but also every member of the Chasen Wilder folk. Any one of them, he said, could harbor a demon inside and thus be a werewolf in disguise. For 20 years, the forest rang with screams and the rivers ran red. The tales say that an old chasing woman found her sons all dead at the Arl's blades. She pulled one of those very blades from one son's heart and plunged it into her own chest, cursing the Arl's name as she did so. Where her blood touched the ground, a mist began to rise. It spread and spread until it was everywhere in the forest. The Arl's army became lost and is said that they died there. Others say they wander still. The ruins of his Arling stand to this day, filled with the ghosts of women waiting eternally for their husbands to return. The forest of the legend is, of course, the Kakari Wilds. There are as many legends about the great southern forest as there are shadows, or so the saying goes. The Chasen Wilder folk have made their home there since mankind first came to these lands, and the wild lands spread as far into the south as anyone has ventured. Beyond the mists are vast tra tracts of snow, white-capped mountains, and entire fields of ice. It is a land too cold for mankind to survive. Yet, the chasen eke out an existence even there, and they tell of horrors beyond the wilds, and the lowland folk could not begin to comprehend. To most, Ferelden simply ends with the Kakari wilds. There is nothing beyond. The wilds is a land of great trees, wet marshes, and dangerous monsters. What more need be said? 
from Land of the Wilders by Mother Alice, Chantry Scholar 918 Dragon. Cool bit of lore there. Okay, and we already read about that. City of Kirkwall. Ooh, okay, I'm not going to read all that. I'll just scroll down a little bit if you guys want to read it. Okay, Brother Jenna TV. We remember Brother Jenna TV. Okay, we have uh, two more level ups. Pyromancer. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I don't think I can get this yet. Uh, oh, maybe I can. Let's try that. Okay, and Carver. Strength. This, okay, this is a sustained mode. Might. That's a sustained mode as well. What else we have here? Okay, defense. Physical force. Elemental Aegis. The secret to warding off the elements is to rely on your armor, keeping it between you and the blast. The warriors learn this lesson well and can anticipate magical attacks. This mode cannot be used at the same time as turn the blade. Oh, that sounds good. It's sustained, but let's, let's get it. Okay, resume. Is it turned on? How do we turn it on? Disabled while in combat. Okay, so we can't can't even turn it on until we get into combat. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Duh! Okay, there we go. Now it's on. I was on the wrong person. What's wrong with me? Okay. Nothing else to see here. Let us do a quick save. And go on up and around to where we need to go. We're going to have a big boss fight up here. Isn't this where we fought the ogre and the horde of darkspawn? The game saved automatically for me. That doesn't sound good. Ogre. Uh-oh. You soulless bastards. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh. Oh. Um, he's dead. Cover! He's dead. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Just the ogre? Oh, now it's just the three of us. Just the three of us. We have these guys set up their attacks. Um, oh yeah, that's that rushing. All right. Oh, well that didn't work out really well. That didn't work out good either. Move. Okay, we're getting a little serious here, but I want to take this ogre out. Oh, wow, that hurts. That hurts. Heal. Using potion. Yep, you heal too. That really hurt. Um, you. Can you do a... 
You do a fireball on everybody? And then move. And then... Do that. You're probably gonna need to take a potion too, uh, sister. Okay, the ogre, he looks like he's... Okay, he's almost down. Okay, the ogre's down. Um, let's go help sister. Up, oh, she cannot heal. All right, I will go help sister. Oh, she's down. Okay. Now you fall. Oh, I can't heal either. Oh, gosh. That timer is slow. All right, let me run over here. Oh. Oh, shoot. You can't take one either. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do it. Uh, can you take a potion yet? No, 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 she can't. Oh, boy. What about... Oh, she's down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. We're all dead. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. You soulless bastards. on him and do that on him and then move out of the way did she make it yep she did good oh that hurt that hurt just a little just a little Dude, you're just standing here in the way. Uh, let's move over here. Bethany, what are you doing? And move over here. Okay, he was poisoned by her. So that was good. Oh crap, that hurt. Okay, we gotta get these guys down before he spawns some more in. Uh, let's have you go ahead and heal. Let's have you do that. I'm glad to see there's no friendly fire. The animations on this is so good. All right, Bethany. 
And, oh, nope, you can't do anything. Um, okay, focus on him. Okay, he's down. Oh, oh, great, great, great. Let me take a potion. And let me move over here. And do... Oh, Bethany. Bethany. Girlfriend. Move over here. Is she gonna make it? Ooh, I don't know if she's gonna make it. Can you... You got shield defense up. Insufficient mana to taunt. Okay, let's do this. And then taunt. Hopefully she can get it off in time. Let's have you move over here. Let's have me do this. Ogre is almost down. All right, back out. Back out. I don't think she's going to make it. Nope, she didn't make it. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, take a potion. Is this ogre down yet? No. Aveline, I'm sorry. Okay, he's down. Let's do this. Okay. Finish you off. Have you do that. Georgia. And then over here. Sorry, Aveline. Ah. Over here. here. What are you doing? Okay. These Herlock grunts are pretty powerful. Let's see if I can't just take you out. Ooh. Run over here. He's down. Actually, let me try to get... Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. Instead. Then do this. Okay, she's doing a fireball. Okay. All right. Have her run over here. Okay, he's down. So we got two left. And 
And are you attacking him? Yes, you are. That's good. And we got that dude left too. Hey, he's down. Go ahead and heal. The battle's over. We're fine. That was a good I'm challenge. Sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. I'm sorry, Carver. Pull yourself together. This is no there is this is no time to mourn. Hmm. Oh man, should we be like that to our mom? Alright, we're not gonna be like that to our mom. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. How could you let him charge off like that? Oh, Your what? little brother. My little boy. Why are you blaming me? Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Carver. But at least Father will have company now. Flames. We're too late. Oh my. Oh my. More fighting? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna go take... There's one over here. Looks like there's... Oh, we're all surra we're surrounded here. Retreat? Retreat where? Where are we retreating to? What's he talking about retreat? Dude, we're not retreating. We're fighting. Okay. Bethany. That's good. I'm doing like a little flame toss there. And also do that. Where's Bethany? Uh, Bethany, we need you. Who is that? Herlock Bolter. Herlock Bolter. We need Bethany out of the way. Jeez. See what I can, do next. can you come down there? <laughs> Get out of the way of everything. Okay, she, I think she'll be okay right where she's at. Let's have her now do some attacking from here. Nope, don't, don't do it. There's no oh. end to them. What the? Dragon. Scorching everything. <laughs> I don't want to fight a dragon.
Morrigan. No. Um, Plymouth. Look at that. Sashay and walk. Well, well. What have we here? It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Hmm. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! Uh <laughs> Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? Hmm. I want to be a dragon. Oh. You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> <laughs> if only a clever tongue was all one needed. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? King Kaelin was betrayed. There's nothing for me here. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Hmm. What is a Witch of the Wilds exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah! As if I had nothing better to do. <laughs> You're an apostate? Yes, just like you. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. <laughs> Okay, Plymouth. Good point. <laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. <sighs> Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. He's not looking so good. <sighs> Roast a few more, Darkspawn. I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. 
No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar? Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. <sighs> He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall <laughs> on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest.
They're not letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Fereldans, just like us. Fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. Hmm. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay. Friendship for Aveline. Wow, really high. Oh, oops, I was going to look at the codex. The destruction of Lothring. Find Gamlin ML or some other way into Kirkwall. Deliver Flemeth's amulet to keep her Marathari in the Dalish camp on Sudermont. Okay, we know about ogres. We fought plenty of them. Is that the only thing that's new? It looks like it. Nope. An honest answer regarding apostates. Again, I'm not going to read all this unless I feel like it is attached to a quest line. I am going to read about Carver, though. Carver grew up surrounded by magic. He couldn't truly understand. He cared deeply for his family, but sometimes felt like the stupidest person in the room. Carver foundered in Lothring, caught between the gifts of his apostate sister, Bethany, and the growing skill of his, of his more focused sibling, Sasha. But even as Carver groused about his lot, he remained dedicated to protecting those he loved. He didn't think twice about sacrificing himself to save his mother during the flight, during, during the flight from the Darkspawn. And although Carver struggled to find his way in life, there is gratification in knowing his death had purpose. Should that say flight or fight? Okay. Plymouth. You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Ages ago, legend says Ban Conabar took to wife a beautiful young woman who harbored a secret talent for magic. Plymouth of High Ever. And for a time, they lived happily until the arrival of a young poet, Olsen, who captured the lady's heart with his verse. Okay, this codex entry for Flemeth was in Dragon Age Origins. They turned to the chastened tribes for help and hid from Conobar's wrath in the wilds until word came to them that Conobar lay dying. His last, with, his last wish was to see Flemeth's face one final time. The lovers returned, but it was a trap. Conobar killed Austin and imprisoned Flemeth in the highest tower of the castle. In grief and rage, Lemeth worked a spell to summon a spirit into this world to wreak vengeance upon her husband. Vengeance she received, but not as she planned. The spirit took possession of her, turning Flemeth into an abomination, a twisted, maddening creature. She slaughtered Conobar and all his men and fled back into the wilds. For a hundred years, Flemeth plotted, stealing men from the chas chasen to sire monstrous daughters, Horrific things that could kill a man with fear. These Kakari witches led an army of Chasen from the wilds to strike at the Alamari tribes. They were defeated by the hero Cormac and all the witches burn, so they say. But even now, the wilders whisper that Flemeth lives on in the marsh. And she and her daughters steal those men who come too near. Morrigan's mother saved the last Grey Wardens from death at the top of the Tower of Ishaw. But just who or what Plymouth truly is, is a mystery. Truly is a mystery. Okie dokie. Well, we will end it right here in Kirkwall. We need to find a way into it. And we will do that on the next episode. So I'm really excited to play this game. I enjoyed it the first time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it on hard because it's been pretty intense, but an enjoyable tense. Intense. Anyways, 
Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you on the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.